Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Galaxy Link. Here you can see this is 49 inch Samsung LED TV. Here you can see the model number UA49M5570AU LXL. This is the model number. Then here you can see the model number as well as the version code also. So now I am going to turn on this LED TV. Let's see what is the problem in this TV. Friends, now I turn on the LED TV. Here you can see backlight is okay, sound is okay, but picture is not there. So this this we called as no display problem, or else we can also call it as blank display problem. So in this video, I am going to show you how to fix this type of problem in our LED TV. So now I open the back cover. So in this TV, the back cover is fitted in the lock system. So this is the screwless LED TV. Here you can see the motherboard, and this is the power supply. Then finally here you can see the display icon board. Friends, in this TV we are facing no display problem because this icon board is going to protection mode due to shortage in the panel. To find the short in the left side or else in the right side. We have to check all the voltages by turning on the LED TV. So let's connect the cord. Friends, in this tip on board, you can observe that there is two light indicators are there. First one is for 12 volt input supply that is running perfectly, but another is not glowing due to the shortage in the panel because. All the voltages are dropped due to the shortage. So now we have to find out by removing the FFC cable. Friends, before removing the FFC cable, I am going to show you the all the voltages. Here you can see the 12 volt input is okay. For that, that first light is going. If 12 volt input is not there, that first light is also not glowing. Then here you can see the VGA voltage. That is also zero. <coughs> Wait a minute. Here you can see the VGA voltage zero. VGA is zero. Then here is the VGA voltage. That is also zero. Then here you can see the AVDD. Friends, this is AVDD point that is also zero. Then the AVDD point is also showing zero voltage because this icon board DC to DC IC is not generating any voltages because of the protection mode. Friends, by connecting the power supply, here you can see second indicator is turned on, but suddenly it is going to turn it off. So by seeing this, we can consider that. The icon board is running. It is generating the voltage, but due to the shortage in the display, our icon board is going to protection mode. So to solve this, we have to remove this FFC cable. After that, we have to turn on the LED TV. Friends, after removing the strip also, we are not getting the output voltages. The second indicator is not glowing. Because in this icon board, by removing the strip, this icon board is not generating any voltages. This will go to automatically. This will go to the protection mode. Friends, in this type of Samsung icon board, the protection mode feature is given. Here is here you can see the model number. Friends, to remove the protection mode from this icon board, we have to make some modification method. Now I am going to tell you the modification using one wire. Here you can see we are getting the 3.3 voltages. By using this 3.3 voltages, we have to jump it to the icon ready point. Now I am going to show you the point. From this point, we have to take the 3.3 voltage. 
then we have to give it to here t ready point this point we have to jump the 3.3 voltages here can see fp tick on ready is there from this point we have to connect one wire to this point by doing this method we can remove the protection mode from this tick on board so let's do it friends now i'm going to connect the pin wire here you can see how i connected the wire from this we have to take 3.3 voltage from this point here you can see you have to take 3.3 volt then jump it to this tick on ready point by using this method we can remove the protection mode from this tick on board friends now you can see now i turn on the led tv here you can see the both light indicator is turning on now our dc to dc ic is generating all the voltages here you can see now i am going to check all the voltages friends in this point you can see we are getting vgh voltage that is 26 then here we are getting vgl voltage that is also 11.4 Minus eleven point four. Here we are getting AVDD. That is fifteen voltage. That is also fine. Then HAVDD. That is half of AVDD. We are getting seven point six voltage. that is also okay by using this trick we can check our tick on board otherwise it is not possible to check our tick on board voltages friends here you can see now i connected the supply here you can see both lights are turned on without connecting the two strips now we have to check our display whether the short is there in the right side or else it is there in the left side Now I am going to connect the right side strip. Friends, now you can see only one light is turned on, another light is not turned on. Now you can identify that our short is there in the right side. So, using the block method, we have to block the our shortage lines in the right side. Now you can see. Now I am going to connect the left side strip. Here you can see the result. While connecting the right side strip, we are getting only one light indicator. But while connecting the left side strip, we are getting both indicators. Now we can conclude that our shortage is there in the right side of the panel. So this is all about my video. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe our YouTube channel.